Hi everyone, my name is Tanya Boyson and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be discussing some pointers on how to handle rejection in your business. So basically, when you approach someone, you approach them with new information and it can also lead to fear and doubt because they don't know, they've never heard of this business that you're talking about or the new, the product that you are talking about so you need to stay kind and humble and you need to be understanding and and you need to be able to understand where their fears are coming from so first of all you need to listen to the rejection after you have done your presentation and you need to also ask them questions to understand where this fear is coming from but you ask about two or three questions. Don't bombard them with a lot of questions because you're going to create distance between you and your prospect or you and your customer. And you, if you were in the same position of which you can relate to their fear, you can validate their fear and you can tell them like, I understand I was in the same situation and understand that fear I had. I had that feel, fear as well of me not succeeding, etc. You can just add to their concern as well. And then you can validate their fear and tell them how you overcame it. But do not be arrogant as well and don't be pushy. Listen, ask them like two or three questions and be humble and be understanding. Because this no can lead to a future yes and at the same time you are building a connection and a relationship with your prospect or your customer and they can see that you're actually a genuine person and you're trying to understand where they are coming from as well so that is one tip and remember that a no can become a future yes a future deal as well and at the same time don't give up and don't take the no personally because when once people see you are consistent in your business as well they will come back to you so keep on running with your business because you will think people are not watching you or not watching your posts and eventually you they will actually come back to you after a few months and you should also check up on them in a few months as well so the key is to um, stay away from pro provoking your prospect or customer so if you want to carry on with the report and carry on with the conversation back and forth conversation with them use the words I respect and I agree and and as well and move away from but but however but I don't agree with you you will create distance between you and your customer or your your prospect and this can lead to an argument as well which you don't want because you just want to build a discussion and create an understanding at the same time you're also building a relationship with the customer even though this is a rejection so you can turn a re rejection that looks like it's something bad into something good you can build this rejection into relationship um, basis as well so once you have answered the prospects concerns you then tie it down and how you would do this is that you will answer them in a way where you, you will say does that answer your question does that make sense to you now wouldn't you agree okay so you just tie down their concerns and once they understand always return with a closing question you will tell them that is great so based on what you have seen and what you have heard how do you see yourself in a specific business which you will mention for example whatever business you're in or how would you see yourself um, would you see yourself buying this product so you will mention whatever product or service or business that you're approaching them with 
do do what how do they see themselves in it or do they do do they see themselves buying the product so you end with a closing question and you wait for them to respond when they're interested that's a bonus for you that's great you did a great job from turning a rejection to a possibility and to a, a sale and if they say no then tell them thank you for your time um, if you know anyone that's interested anyone else that's interested let me know and continue ch continue um, checking up on them in a month or two and remember that a no can lead to a yes so don't take sorry don't take rejection seriously rejection can lead to a relationship when you ask questions and um, you build understanding so it can end up eventually in a few months into a business relationship so there's always a silver lining in everything in all rejections thank you for your time and please like this video and please subscribe to my youtube channel i'll be making more videos on the product benefits of long reach and giving you more tips on network marketing and in business as well so my next video, I will see you then.